the 2024 celebration World Hand Hygiene Day, it was a great moment at Maitama District Hospital. Today, our resource person educate us, educate the entire staff and the patients on the need to wash hands. In order to prevent germs through our hands, the role of call of this very important personality were Dr. Umar Ahmed, the head clinical service representing the managing director, consultant family physician, infection prevention and control chairman, in person of Dr. Isaac Olubanjo Akerele and Dr. Anatu Ibrahim, head matron, Maitama District Hospital. Others were chief, chief nursing officer, Nurse Gloria Ete. Ola Soden Grace Abosedi, the Chief Nursing Officer, Violet Ikichuku Program, Late Abuja Web Beam Foundation, Africa. Thank you. This leads to incalculate, uh, incalculable body uh, in terms of uh, our economy, you know, the patients and the relations economic power and uh, also uh, preventing this uh, will be uh, important and uh, no one receiving or providing health care should be exposed to the risk of being harmed and so hygiene and cleanliness uh, is uh, key in the in, uh, provision of our healthcare services. In fact, if you prevent infection, you know that the majority of the problems in the hospital will be solved. And that is why we are here today. And uh, the hospital management is extending its own alloy support that we are going to give support so that at the end of the day, the patients the relations, the healthcare uh, workers would uh, have a good information about how to maintain good hand hygiene. You all know about the COVID that came out first. Uh, the information is all about good hand hygiene. When you finish from work, you have to your house and when you enter your house, you have to wash your hands. Uh, all the hand hygiene my camera is more and uh, hope that. This will go a long way to solve the problems of life in the world. Fifth of May every year is dedicated as World and Agile Day. As we're told, more than sixty percent of infections are prevented by just only one procedure and hygiene. We all know this very well. But the hospital yeah. management approved this year and well supported, you know, to for us to carry out demonstration advocacy. It just for us to satisfy every one of us, you know, that it is important. Let me say this clearly. Do you know that most professionals don't even know how to wash their hands? The poor dog, the, the, among all healthcare workers, nurses, and I mean, the, I mean, test, uh, the, the research conductor, my job made you. Nurses are the highest. What was the score? 62 63 percent. We are followed by one doctor for 7 percent. Others, you can imagine, going down that way. That means majority of us don't do it right. Irrespective of our status, our level of I mean, education so it is by practice and continual practice that will, 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 will make us improve with this as we are directed who we'll move please toward the entrance of the hospital where this will be demonstrated all hygienists are expected to be part of this because they are the ones who clean the environment the essence of that is that the environment About 20 minutes, 30 minutes or two. So we are, we are going, you know, so that's good. They are happy to hear that. So please, let's go.
infection, microorganisms in our hands to, so that we cannot transfer it to the parent, uh, to, to, to the patients and then also send back home. Sorry, my name is Nons Glory Eteng. So please watch out. First of all, as you are coming in, you will stop by here and then you open at the tap, you wet your hands, and then you take a non soap that you know will cover your hands. And then you rub the two palms together, and then you use your right palm to rub the dosum of your hand, the, the left hand. And then you interlace the fingers. You also use the left side to rub the dosum of the right side. You have to interlace the fingers. Are we together? Yes. Okay, you rub it this left on your hand. And then you go back and rub your palm and interlace your fingers. And then you, you go back and hold your the thumb. You rub it very well. You use the left side to rub the right side very well. And then fingers by locking them together and then you rub them very well. And don't forget the tips of your fingers need to be washed. So you rub it very well too. And then the left side or the right hand. And then you rub it and rinse it you come down to your wrist a little and then you rinse your hands very, very well. Now my hands are clean. Uh, as I told you, uh, yesterday was supposed to be the day. 
This day cannot just pass without us telling you the importance of this hand hygiene. You know the hands is like a visa to the stomach, isn't it? And anything that is on the, uh, I mean that is in the hand, any stain that is in the hands, definitely is like you are going to take in or ingest microorganism inside your stomach. And the stomach is like the house of all diseases. Are you getting me? So if you did not clean your hands very well, and you use your hands to either eat or to swallow your drugs, of which I'm sure so many of you that are here today are going to be placed on various drugs. And by the time you go home, you are going to be using your hands to swallow these drugs, isn't it? So you are home at the back of your mind that if you did not keep your hands clean before touching your food or your drugs, you are still going to ingest, ingest uh, some microorganism into your stomach. And by the end of the day, you find yourself coming back to the hospital again for one treatment or the other. Is that clear? So please, at any point, food or your drugs, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before you do that. If you remember, during COVID-19, uh, in 2022, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, and that is why you saw that time that the World Health Organization made it clear that even before you enter into your house, your house, there should be a bucket in the front of your gate. If you remember, so many houses had a lot of buckets in front of their gate before going to the house. Am I lying? In the hospital to up to date, we are still practicing that. A bucket should be in front of the gate of the hospital. A bucket should be, I mean, a tap should be in front of the entrance of the, of the door to the hospital so that at any point in time, you know that you have stained your hands, you have to wash your hands, you have to clean your hands before you touch your drugs, before you touch your food, before you touch anything. And the same thing goes to the health workers too. It is not only the patients, but also the health workers. We too, we need to be washing our hands before we touch our patients. We have to wash our hands after we touch our patients. We have to touch and wash our hands thoroughly before we carry out any procedure. And that is why we are emphasizing to you that you go back home today, please adapt the method of washing your hands before you do anything. Is that clear? Yes. I hope and I pray that you go home with this message and it will help you go a long way. Thank you very much. I just uh, told us why today is important to honor for us. But please, this is just a message. Uh, we want to create your, uh, your permission or your indulgence to see that we are disturbing pictures. It is ethically important to ask your consent to see if you should, should see yourself in the NTA news, in the whatever medium, and that after that video, you are not going to be offended because without your permission. Is that taking? Because we are doing this to promote to satisfy people. You may see your face in newspapers, in magazines, and things, so you don't be offended. So it is agreed that we can be shown to the rest of the world that we are the top to us. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you.
people in it. Okay. You are the boy. That's why we can't. Where will you be doing? Don't go. Don't put your hand in. Sorry. Where be? My name is Dr. Umar Ahmed. Uh, I am the head of clinical services of uh, Maitoma District Hospital, and I'm representing the medical director. Thank you. So, what do we take for? Uh, as you all know. Well, World Health Hygienic Day is celebrated every 5th of May and uh, we are celebrating it today because yesterday was a Sunday so we shifted it today. Uh, hand hygiene, as you rightly said, is a very important uh, step in the prevention of diseases. You know, we all know that our hand is always going to our mouth and uh, often we carry microorganisms on our hands that will cause diseases. So if we are washing our hands regularly and uh, vigorously with soap and water, it will go a long way in preventing a lot of diseases. And you know by that, it will save a lot of work hours, it will save our income that we would have used to go to the hospital and pay for those diseases if we come in the National Assembly as a whole. Clean water in drink in rural areas provides potable water supply. And I think we call on government to test. My name is Dr. Isaac Ulubanjo Akirene. Today has been the world head of the family and I'm the chairman. Infection, profession, and control. We are at the hospital. We are at I've, uh, I've already, we said it in our meeting today. The essence of this is for us to create awareness and to sensitize people about World Hygiene Day. What is, what's the importance of it? That's the question I think you, you were trying to ask me. The importance of uh, and hygiene is cannot be overemphasized because more than 60 percent of effect, infection is acquired you know, through the hands. So, w, the World Health Organization now dedicated a whole day, you know, to and hygiene to ensure that you know a lot of advocacies are made. Awareness are created so that people will know that they must keep their hands clean, especially healthcare workers. The healthcare workers need to do that. That what we call five moments of uh, and IG must observe, you know, at all times. You know, why, you know, seeing our patients, why treating our patients, why collecting data and all that. So this is essential. And that's exactly why we are here. What we have done today is to move around the hospital, create this awareness, talk to patients, talk to our colleagues, talk to our staff, and we are well supported by the management to ensure uh, uh, that everyone sees today as, as important as it is. And we will originally had partners who came to, to support us, to be able to say, uh, to mark today especially. And uh, we thank God that it's been real, real, you know, fun feel. People were happy that this was conducted. People, things happen in a way that we can be able to promote the institution. Matama District Hospital is one of the foremost, you know, uh, IK provider, secondary. I feel that at the primary IK level, they are well informed. Uh, I mean, let's develop a red, you know, with hygiene uh, and be very poor to be able to wash their hands. That's, we are using this opportunity to honor the leadership of uh, uh, infrastructure in the kudos to the minister, uh, infection.
Thank you very well. So from my name is Scarlett Tikech, I'm from the Wellbeing Foundation Africa. Today we are actually commemorating the World Hand Hygiene Day. From Wellbeing Foundation, we are actually promoting clean hands. So this is the opportunity for us to educate all our mothers and all healthcare workers for the importance of hand hygiene. It is very important for us to keep our hands clean in everything that we are doing. My name is Renato Ibrahim. I'm the HOA nursing of Metama District Hospital. And uh, yesterday was World Health uh, Hand Hygiene Day, and it was supposed to be celebrated. But because it fell on a Sunday, we decided to celebrate it today being Monday. And uh, what I want to talk about hand hygiene is that hand hygiene is very, very important to people. Why? Because if you look at it, the hand is the medium of which microbes and germs can be ingested into the stomach because it is the hands that does the work of taking food or drugs or any other thing through the mouth and down to the stomach and as we all know that the stomach is the house of all diseases through the hands and that is why we always want to educate to people that at any point in time they need to either eat or take their drugs or do anything that will use their, they may, it will make them use their hands to their mouth. You know, they have to keep their hands very clean. And what is hand hygiene? Hand hygiene is a simple way or it's an art of keeping the hands clean with soap and water or using the alcohol based a sanitizer to sanitize the hands and by doing that it keeps away a lot of germs and your hands can be clean enough. So, so. Fanadi, how, how do you do? Yes, we carry out health education. We have some organizations that reaches the rural area and they educate them and sometimes you find out that they come to the hospital too. And that is why you see health education is very, very important. We carry out health education every morning to all the clinics and mostly GOPD and Nenta Clinic and uh, any side of the clinic we know that we have a lot of patients. We carry out our health education to educate people on how to keep their hands clean. Thank you.